Okay, we're going to talk about using Adobe Acrobat Pro and more specifically making a portfolio. And once you're in Acrobat Pro, come up to File and go to Create PDF Portfolio. After you click on that, you'll get a window that looks like this. On the right side, we're going, to, we're going to work our way down all these choices, starting with Choose a Layout. And this is the basic layout of your PDF portfolio. And as you look down at these various items, you see a basic grid, a grid with a file preview, and so on. Okay, You can always change this later. You can look at the revolving, and each one says exactly what it does sliding rows, sliding rows with a sidebar and this is really up to the user basically you're going to pick which one that you think looks the best or will work best for you. Next down the line if we click on add welcome and header as soon as I click on that notice it goes right to the top so we're on the add welcome and header section if I want a welcome page to my portfolio Let's go ahead and click on that and just look at the choices. You can say no welcome page. I only want a text on my welcome, maybe just an image. You can even go as far as putting a flash movie into your welcome page. Let's assume I only want uh, image and a text. So I select that and right away it brings up the places where I am to type and to add an image. So I can type in here automatically. I can type here. This is my portfolio. If I want to adjust the size of the text, highlight it just like you would any other Word document, come to the bottom, change the size. Okay. You can center it and do those sorts of things. Change the color. All right, as far as adding an image, as soon as I click on that, in my case, I'm on a Mac, it's going to go out to My Photos, and I'm going to select one here. I'll select this, and there it is. I can increase the size of it. I can even change the opacity of it if you want it to be just a little less on the screen. When you're done, simply click Done. Next down the line, we're going to select a color scheme. And once again, when I click it on the bottom right hand corner, it immediately goes to the top because that's the one we're working on. And you can definitely just take your time and decide which color scheme that you'd like and it is something that you can always change later okay so I'll pick this yellow one for now next file details click on that on the bottom and it immediately brings it to the top as we start to add files you can decide whether or not you want the name to, to be shown the description when when did you modify it last the size and so on and if you don't if you're not sure what you want to do with that yet, you can just leave this alone. And then one more on the bottom right hand, publish. When you are ready, you can save it here. Or if you're really ready, you can send your portfolio using your email application. Or if you want, you can share it on acrobat.com.